it is 20 years since Pokemon started up in Japan, and I thought I would show you, show and tell, I guess, my story as as to how I started as a Pokemon fan and trainer. And it was 1998. I was in foster care at that time. I travelled to school by by school bus, and there was a few kids that was um, getting into uh, Pokemon, you know. And I was always a home console owner, and and I was I I played the the Sega Master System too, and then I got a Super Nintendo and an N sixty four later on, and. I was a big fan of Cheese TV, and I I used to watch the show for a number of years, like from uh, I think ninety six, ninety seven to like two thousand two or something like that, until I got a bit older and I moved on to to watching other things. And um, I would watch um, Pokemon, the TV show, and Dragon Ball Z. So I would used to watch those two shows. And the TV show was, was, I used to watch that every day. It was a lot of fun. It was really cool. And it was really a blast to watch on the uh, Cheese TV show. And everyone was playing with Pokemon Red and Blue. And I was never really big on handhelds. I was like, ah, I've never really been that great into them. I don't see the point in them because I have a home console. I I go home and do my gaming then. And... When the Pokemon craze started, and people were doing trading cards too, um, I can't—I really felt like I was missing out on something, and that was something that I—I I wanted to be a part of and and play the Game Boy game with others and that. So, and I wasn't too sure what game I would get. You know, it was either red or blue, and I didn't really know the differences between trading and the Pokemon. So, I believe in September 1999, which was fairly late, you know, a year after the sort of the, the craze had started in Pokemon in Australia, um, they released Pokemon Yellow, um, which had Pikachu, she starting Pokemon, and you can get all the other starters at some point during the game. And I saw it, and I just, that was when I knew I had to get a handheld console. So, I went off and got it. Um, and I got Pokemon Yellow, and I started playing, it was fantastic to have Pikachu follow you around, and I was trading Pokemon and battling people on the bus, um, and you had to either sit next to each other on the bus, um, and use the link exchange cable, or you would sit behind them on the bus, someone would be behind the seat, and we would sort of feed the uh, the game link uh, cable behind it, and you would do it like that. And that was um, always a little bit tricky, but it was fun, you know, trading Pokemon or trading to evolve a Pokemon like, you know, to Gengar or uh, Magchamp or something like that. And it was really cool, and that was sort of um, the beginning of how I did... Um, Pokemon games and, and handheld games and that and that was how I got into Pokemon and then I bought Gold and Silver which I was a big fan of I loved those two games and then I went to Generation three and four and five and six and it just continued on for many years and that 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 has been sort of the gaming series that always got me to buy a handheld um, even if I wasn't too crash hot on the Game Boy Advance or I was a late um, adopter to the Nintendo DS. Pokemon was always that game that would uh, drag me back in. And that's no wonder how it sold tens of millions of copies um, over 20 years. So, it's just amazing how um, the series has evolved and changed. And that was because all my friends used to play it, and watching Cheese TV and the watching the Pokemon TV show, which was fantastic. So, I was, um, it was good old days, the late 90s, and, um, I'm looking forward to what 
the future of um, Pokemon delivers. So it's um, really, really cool. And I was very happy to play uh, Pokemon Yellow. And I'll be very happy to play it uh, when it is released. Pretty much in the next half an hour here in Australia. So um, it will be fantastic. And that's my story how I became a, a Pokemon uh, trainer back all those years ago, back in 99. So I um, hope you enjoyed it. And I shall see you next time. Next time.